What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I am going to be giving Blue, my angry bearded dragon, another bath. Now, I've done this video in the past before and it actually seemed to work and actually seemed to calm him down from being so upset and so angry with the world. Now, I've definitely been reading the comments and I do agree with a lot of you who have raised some concern on how I'm approaching Blue, especially when it comes to all of this anger that he has towards my hands. He just seems to want to bite everything. And you know, I'm the type of person that talks with my hands a lot and definitely in these videos, um, you know, I, I do a lot of hand gestures and when I'm uh, talking to my other animals, I do like to move them around and stuff. But when it comes to handling Blue, Blue just seems to want to bite everything that comes near him. So today I am going to be changing my approach on how I go about interacting with Blue. So I kind of came up with a strategy on how I can actually tame him and what I'm going to be trying to do these past next few um, weeks up to a year as long as it takes to actually tame him down and actually see if these strategies work that way any of you guys out there who have an angry bearded dragon could do the exact same thing okay so i broke down the strategy to three simple parts we have preparation interaction and communication now these three simple parts i'm hoping save me from getting bit by blue because I do need to interact with him but there is certain ways that I need to go about it if I actually want him to be tamed so the very first approach that I'm going to be doing is preparation you know I use a sink when it comes to giving him a bath and what I notice each time I turn on the sink he freaks out because of the water that's flowing and moving and, and it's just too much noise for him so Preparation is pretty simple. I'm just gonna have the water ready for him. That way I can bring him to a quiet environment. Now number two, interaction. Now this is gonna be a little bit more tricky when it comes to Blue because it seems like Blue, anything that goes near him pretty much gets him going and he wants to bite it and he just wants to tear it apart. So what I figured is since his you know enclosure is pretty much in a place where it could get really dark, what if I turn down the lights a little bit, that way it minimizes what he sees and all the movement and I can actually pick him up properly and you know hold him you know accordingly and bring him to the sink without him freaking out. And phase number three is communication. So what I notice with Blue is each time I talk to him really loud and I point the camera right in front of him, he just freaks out. I mean, I would freak out too if someone was pointing the camera straight at my face. So what I figured to do is have a quiet environment, you know, there's no running water, there's minimal me talking and just trying to make it as calm as possible for him. Since everything is already prepared for him and laid out, I want him to come close to me. That way he could communicate that, hey, I'm feeling comfortable and yes, it's okay for me to take a bath and me go near him. So these are the three steps that I'm going to try to apply when it comes to interacting with Blue and hopefully, hopefully it tames him down a little bit. <laughs> But with that being said, let's just get started with the video. Let's go. All right, so Blue is sitting all the way over there on that towel. Now, I prepared this water already for him. Um, that way it's nice and warm. And whenever he is ready, he could pretty much approach the water. But I think right now he's still a little bit, you know, just checking his surroundings. I'm trying to go a little bit closer to him. All right, Blue. You're doing good. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This is as far as he wants me to go. <laughs> so Blue, do not freak out. I'm just gonna slightly guide you this way. All right, Blue. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. Blue, it's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, dude. All right, we're gonna put you in the water, okay? I'm gonna put you right in the water. Oh, okay. He seems to be really upset about the water, but Blue, see you in the water. You remember this, this was relaxing. <laughs> this is relaxing. Holy snap. <laughs> you can tell that he's trying to drink water once again, but he is not happy 
Um, you know, his beard has turned black, but Blue, we gotta take you a bath, you know? We gotta make sure that you're nice and hydrated and that everything is fine. But so far, I think this approach is a lot better. It's so much more, um, it's a lot less chaotic. So definitely I am going to be, you know, having a better approach when it comes to you know, interacting with blue. And that's a number, number one thing when it comes to owning reptiles is that you're going to sometimes, you know, have to take a step back and be like, okay, what am I doing wrong? How could I possibly move forward and actually tame him down? So even though, oh, oh, even though he tried to bite my hand there, <laughs> he hasn't, you know, freaked out. He hasn't tried to run away. He just definitely doesn't want me to be around him, you know, just, you know, interacting with him so much, but I'm just gonna allow him to do his thing and, you know, just kind of watch him. A few moments later. This is like the first time I've ever seen Blue actually like chill like that. Look at that. I didn't know you were chill like that, dude. Look at him. He literally has his eyes closed. And if you guys don't know already, when it comes to bearded dragons that have their eyes closed, um, it's a sign of them like being relaxed, you know, going to sleep, um, they definitely feel a lot calm because you, um, you know, you are around and they are okay with closing their eyes. Good boy. Oh, okay, okay. He just, <laughs> he heard someone come into the house and he, it startled him. And if you guys heard the door close, but that definitely, you know, startled him. It seems like vibrations, you know, tend to freak him out. But if he just like, is in the water, you know, he's definitely more chill. And the fact that he's closing his eyes when I'm petting him, it's a really good sign because, you know, like I was saying, any animal that, you know, doesn't want you to be there is not gonna, you know, close their eyes. They're definitely gonna always keep their eyes on you. And he's, you know, still watching me, but he's a lot more chill. Okay, Blue, that is crazy. So I definitely think that he likes the water and it seems to actually calm him down a lot, which, you know, is a huge bonus for me because that means I could actually implement this into his routine and actually get him tamed. Now, with any, you know, um, training or any taming um, routine, you always want to end it on a good note. So that's something that I definitely need to practice more with Blue and I definitely have noticed that since he likes the bath, he's allowing me to pet him and he's more chill and he's not actually biting me. He only tried to bite me once and he actually, you know, kind of, um, you know, stopped doing it right after. So now that he's a lot more chill, I'm gonna put him back inside of his enclosure, you know, end this kind of session um, with him on a good note and then I'm gonna feed him and see if I can interact with him um, that way as well. And if I can, that's gonna be a huge success because now he's gonna associate me with, you know, you know, maybe baths and food. And hey, you know, that will be a right step to the right direction. So hopefully you guys are taking notes because man, if you guys seen Blue like a week ago, he was a psychopath. And today, he's still a psychopath, but, <laughs> but he's a lot more calmer and that is a huge bonus for us, yeah. Now we're gonna try to feed you. Oh, oh, okay, dude. <laughs> you have to be so violent. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yes, I'm free! <laughs> Cricket just ran away. <laughs> okay, come back here. Dude, okay, dude, why are you hopping around? My oh, leg! Oh, oh, okay. Man, that poor Cricket. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I gotta escape this monster. Okay, dude, all right, calm down. Come on, we gotta do this right. Eat the cricket. Eat that, you eat monster, don't eat, eat me. It. No, <laughs> no. Ah! There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh my, god. oh my god, okay, dude, all right, we get it. You don't want anyone in your enclosure. We get it, all right? We're gonna definitely make sure that uh, we stay far away from you because you know, you've been, you've been pretty good. You know, you've been pretty good today. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two when it comes to, um, you know, taming a angry bearded dragon. So we still have a long way to go for Blue to actually be, you know, nice and calm. Oh my goodness, dude. 
but I'm actually really happy um, with so far the results, even though, you know, he's a little bit upset right now that I'm, you know, in front of his enclosure, but I did give him some crickets. I did give him a bath and hopefully that's enough for him to be like, you know what? Maybe this guy isn't so bad, but um, I did simplify his enclosure a little bit. That way he actually has a place that he could hide in there and he could bask up there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You know, I'm sure Blue would definitely like it. And for more videos about bearded dragons and reptiles, definitely subscribe to the channel. But for now, you know, that is it for today's video. Blue, you gonna say anything today? No, you're just gonna be upset. <laughs> that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. But with that being said, I'm Lord Alliant. This right here is blue. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in my next here video. It goes. Here we go. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, hit.